What are your, your initial thoughts on the first half? I don't think you guys had a shot on goal. Um, and then what adjustments you made in the second half and sort of how that second half played out for you? Yeah, we, we in, the, in the first half, I felt like we were, we were creating actions to try to play that one pass that was going to open up the game or unlock the game or to give us that, that one chance on goal. Uh, and every time we looked to play that type of pass, we were either off sides or we hit somebody with the pass. And so I felt like there, we needed to be a little bit more patient and back them up and maybe somebody makes the run, but we don't always have to play the run. We can back them up and just keep moving, our, moving the game a little bit more into their half the field. So showing a little bit of patience and not being enticed, we knew they played a pretty high line and that there was gonna be some opportunities maybe for Joe or for Gabe or for some of the guys to get in behind. But I felt like we were really like looking for that so much that uh, it kind of disrupted the sort of the flow of things. And, and I wanted us at halftime to get a little closer together to just allow the game to move a little bit more in terms of our connections to get up to play from side to side a little bit more not to play so vertical and look for the moment but uh and see if we could you know win some field position a little bit maybe our attacks would finish from little deeper positions not trying to finish attacks from half field with that one ball behind that that would break things uh you know that that was part of it just in terms of managing the game a little bit better and maybe uh again playing the game in a little bit different area of the field we knew they were stepping out of the line pretty aggressively and I felt like if we could keep the ball we could keep the ball moving and play a little bit more in combination that the spaces for us to run through and to play through would open up and become a little bit more visible for us and so um, yeah you know I, I thought in the second half we found more opportunities we dissected them with some passes that were a little clearer and the timing was a little bit better. Uh, we were able to play off the sides a little bit cleaner and not necessarily be in a rush and just play balls in behind. Uh, and I thought we started to establish a little bit more rhythm. And then obviously Ricky finds some great balls that where the running, the distances weren't so great necessarily for those final passes. They were still at a little bit of distance, but not say from half field, but they um, so I thought, I thought it was, uh, you know, a better second half. I think, you know, the energy and the, we just started to lose a little bit of gas there at the end, Joe, some hamstring tightness. So we had to make a, a move there. Uh, you know, he started to feel like he was tightening up. So we had to be smart with the string of games that were going, you know, we had some other guys with just some, some things that were starting to feel a little bit. It's our first game in midweek and guys were starting to feel a little bit of, of, some things so we wanted to be mindful of not trying to risk people and overplay people but still try to win the game and so uh, it became a little bit of a you know a trick down there at the end to figure out uh, the best way to sort of manage some of that uh, as well as now going up 2-1 is trying to close out the game we wanted to close some of those spaces that they were running through uh, by going to five get a little bit bigger for set pieces ironically we give up a goal on the set piece again um, so yeah, we looked at a ways to at two one, knowing how the game had gone to try to and where we were physically to try to shut the game down a little bit more, try to keep the ball, but also just to be able to protect ourselves in some of those uh, attacking moments. Um, so we got a point out of it. It was a hard earned point, and uh, and we take it. And we're right now, as I said to the guys, like we're in the grind. We're in the MLS grind right now, where you're playing four out of five or whatever it is on the road, and uh, and we're in you know kind of the the tough part of it your sweet east coast sort of swing go mid midwest to east coast this is the tough part so every point is a good point i know we wanted three and we were in position with about 15 minutes to go to take three um but but uh we gotta try to we gotta take this point and start to heal and start to recover and move on to the to the next one knowing that on the other side of this we've got a string of home games that are waiting for us so uh you know uh, good, good, hard-earned point at the end of the day. Even though there was a chance for us to get three there, and in, in, in sort of the tail end. Any uh, any regrets going as defensive as, as you did when you did? Would you have liked to maybe shift that a little bit closer towards the end of the game, or do you think if you had five defenders back there, maybe you guys shouldn't have given up a set piece goal? Yeah, I don't think we should have given up a set piece goal. That doesn't mean everything was perfect. I feel like, you know, one of the things as as we got 2-1, uh, I wanted to be mindful of Ricky and the minutes that he's played, knowing that he's been nursing things through the course of the season as well and how much uh, we have going on right now. Uh, so I had one sub left, and so I couldn't, if I needed to get him off the field as one of the things, I didn't, 
I couldn't take two more subs to, to switch everything. It was the moment that I needed to try to get uh, all the adjustments necessary. So the other thing I wanted to close off is the, the thing I felt like was getting us at times was the runouts from those half spaces and our center backs or our defensive midfielders having to chase those guys running into the depth and behind us and thus getting stretched apart or giving our defensive midfielders even more work to chase guys through. So I figured five would close those spaces up a little bit more and make it a little bit clearer for us managing some of their attacking runs uh, and get us a little bit bigger for set pieces, as I said. So uh, I always have regrets when we give up a goal. Um, but having said that, we shouldn't give up. We've got three center backs on the field, a striker and other pieces. We need to defend the set piece and, and, uh, and see that play out. It's not like it was the only way they had chances, but that's the way they got the goal. And we've got we've to be better at that. And the first goal was off of a set piece, the second phase. Uh, set piece where um, we don't recover the, the second ball or or keep it in front of us and and it ends up in the back of the net. So I think again, you go on the road and you score two goals, you got to get something out of the game, you know. And and uh, we were able to get a point. There was three there for us at one point. Thanks, Greg. Trump said. Yeah. Damon, you're on the call. Would you like to ask a question? If not, hey, over here. Yep. Go ahead. Hey, hey Greg. Um. But I think I think Josh is asking my last question there about the subs. But it, it, as you look at uh, as, uh, as you look at Yobelich compared to last year to this year, what's is there a big big change or is just confidence for him right now? Yeah, look, I, I think it's the same thing. We keep when we talk about Dayon and the way he's scoring goals, it's always kind of the same thing. We get we get guys working into the depth like uh, like Gabe was able to do. He got to the end line. It opened some space in front of the goal. Dayan does a great job of finding where the space is, getting himself to the front of the goal, and Gabe plays him a ball, and he does what he does, which is he's a good finisher, and uh, he took that one well. It wasn't an easy ball. It was kind of coming in on the bounce, and he was able to stay over the top of it and, and finish it, and that's, you know, I think one of the big things. Yeah, confidence is always important for strikers, but he's got, he's got guys who are getting deep and getting behind, which is opening spaces that make his runs a little bit clearer to the front of the goal. You know, he, he made a great run at the end to get him behind, and... Uh, he had a chance maybe to seal it there towards the end and uh, maybe maybe rushed it, but I know he felt uh, Boxall coming from behind and uh, you know he ends up finishing it into the keeper. But I, I, again, I think it's a combination of things. I think I think uh, you know getting the right pieces around him has helped, which is what we've always said. But him you know being able to do the things that help him be a great a good goal scorer is uh, are all there for him. Go go ahead, Sophie. Hey Greg, um, just a couple of quick ones for you. First one is the Achilles heel being set pieces. Are you thinking about maybe trying something a little bit different, uh, bringing in a set piece, uh, set piece coach? And then the second is uh, paint seal. What uh, was the situation there? Thank you. Yeah, uh, A, not bringing in a set piece coach. Uh, that's not on the cards right now. Uh, the uh, Yeah, we're, we're going to keep training, keep working, and keep getting better at them. I know it's been a, an issue for us, but it's something that we have to, to keep working. It's not, not bringing in somebody to make a difference. Uh, each of our guys, just within each play, has to be able to fulfill their role and responsibility inside of it. Sometimes it's marking and sometimes it's the zonal things that, that need to get dealt with. So we got to keep working on it. Um, in terms of Paintsel, as I said earlier, there was some hamstring tightness uh, when he went for a run in behind and so you know, he immediately kind of looked over and was gave me kind of the signal that he was uh, that he was tight, and we made the we made the change, and we'll evaluate and see where he's at.